Hey, uh, this is a response video to uh, Relativistic Much, and in the video, you mentioned that people tend to be more relativistic in densely populated areas, and from a sociological or anthropological, anthropological perspective, uh, the common sense one, of course, is you know you don't want to hit somebody in the face, because it's easier to do that here. Second, it's exposure, I think. Exposure to all these types of people. You get sort of used to people being different. And not even to save your own bat, but just general exposure and having them that in your environment. As human beings, we look for sameness, right? But if everybody's different, in a way, that's our sameness. In the city, everybody's different. Everybody's everything. You're going to bump into every kind of person if you live in New York City. Um, and for me, who, who, lived, who lived in the suburbs of Long Island before here, it's a culture shock. You know, you get to see every person. You don't even imagine what you're going to meet, I mean, who you're going to meet, and what you're going to see uh, in the city. It's it's all just extreme exposure to every single possibility under the sun. Every kind of person you can think of is, is here, and then some. So I think being exposed to an environment where it's, which is very diverse to begin with, and then two, that people have to live together in such a small area, creates this extreme diversity. So I think exposure and, of course, the common sense... Um, claim are both good ways to understand why densely populated areas tend to be more relativistic, uh, or in, in other or in some terms, world centric, because they have to be. And since they're in the environment, it gets easier to be to get used to different people. Uh, I mean, I'm getting very used to seeing all sorts of people on the subway, walking around, everywhere, um, going to big areas. I mean, I'm not really surprised anymore by the type of people I see. They're still interesting, but that degree of uncertainty about other and looking for sameness changes in the city. Your sameness in the city is differentness <laughs> in some ways. So, so yeah, I mean, that, that's the sociological, I guess, perspective on what you're talking about. Sameness is differentness in New York City. And um, I think as the world be continues to shrink, People can't, won't be able to have sameness in the same in the way that they used to, because even if you live in a place where it's not densely populated, the more exposure we have to technology and connections to the world through technology, like this YouTube video right here, is just going to get more and more intensified to the point where there'll be so much instantaneous communication that you could be anywhere in the world and still be just as linked up to everybody else, and I think that's that time is definitely coming. So, in a sense, I, I think we're having some good news. This is just the early stages of relativism, where, like, pockets of places, densely populated areas, are the first to kind of become more, um, I guess, multicultural, world-centric. The whole world is going to spill over into this, but I think there's, there's definitely going to be much more integration because many new ideas will be coming together, and people will be working together as well, such as, like, the, you know, open source movement and all of that. So, uh, so yeah, this is a whole bundle of different ideas. Just thought I'd just chime in a little bit. Uh, thanks for making your videos. Uh, keep, keep up the good work, and thanks for listening.